Mari, it's really interesting this because uh, more house building is critical uh, from whichever side of the political aisle you look at. At the same time, of late, there has been a lot of criticism about uh, dereliction of duty, perhaps, uh, from the government of trading, uh, trading environmental standards for popular policies. Uh, I'm not sure whether this falls quite into that, that realm, but it's uh, certainly a, a topic worth discussing. Well, definitely, Wilfred, and I think you're right in terms of the optics of this. Regardless of the nuances, to an extent, the opposition are going to try and realistically brand this as the Tories uh, putting, a, you know, essentially uh, relaxing uh, environmental rules in order to focus on house building, even if that's not necessarily as simple as that. Now, these uh, nutrient neutrality rules are there to protect wildlife, they're there to protect water quality, prevent things like algae buildup and those kinds of things. But house developers and some Tory MPs have said that actually these rules have been too harshly implemented and that has caused a really big problem, uh, an obstacle, if you like, for house building. Now, when we look at what the aim is, the aim is all about trying to increase house building by 2030. So the government have said this is going to be able to essentially have about 100,000 new houses. They also say it's going to have about an £18 billion boost to the economy as well. So they're really trying to kind of sell it and show how much it could improve uh, the country in the next seven years, although we are expecting election within the next uh, year or so. So uh, the time might slightly be running out, but they're trying to brand this also as kind of Brussels red tape being ripped off post-Brexit freedoms and therefore for now we can do what we like with our house building rules. But they have also admitted that these nutrients entering rivers are actually a problem. Uh, but they do say that actually uh, house building is a very small contributor to that. They've also insisted that they're actually doubling the investment in the nutrient migration scheme to £280 million. And that's essentially to try and offset some of the additional nutrient discharge that will be going into rivers because of building these new homes. And they're trying to brand it as essentially putting power back into the hands of local people. So Michael Gove, the levelling up secretary, and also Therese Coffey, the environment secretary, uh, announced this together and have both been saying it's about getting house building over the line, but also protecting the environment at the same time. And Therese Covey has also said that it's about tackling these nutrients at source rather than preventing house building uh, because of something that might come down the line that actually they could fix in a different way and still be able to build those housing that already have planning permission. So that's the idea behind it. Now, the Lib Dems have come out and said this is an absolutely disgraceful uh, thing for the government to do. They've talked about how actually they're already presiding over a UK with a terrible state of sewage in rivers and seas, and this is only going to make things worse, and relaxing rules that will actually protect the water supply is disgraceful, according to the Lib Dems. And now we're waiting to hear from the Labour Party about what their stance is on this, but I think also environmental groups will be very concerned about the long-term impact on water supply and on habitats, of course.